let me see what you asked me do you think that when the lin banner the yin lin banner comes and they have double banners will it kill the game no i don't think it will the only way that it'll i don't i don't think it'll kill the game no matter what but i do think that if it does have an issue then there will be a lot of talk about it because a lot of people want people to hate weathering waves right now so they can't really they can't mess it up um because if they do there's going to be a lot of people that are waiting for them to mess it up but i don't think i don't think that they i don't think they're going to be ruined if they mess it up especially because i think that they will fix it they'll fix it promptly if they if, let's say if they did mess up right they would fix it quickly and we get some free shit. like i mean like let's, let's say for example i forgot who said it earlier but somebody said they, they would like they, the way they would mess up is by adding you know g on to the yin lin banner and then you'd pull g on on accident instead of the lin uh, yin lin everybody would get a free yin lin let's be real bro if they, if they did that shit, they would just give everybody one let's let's be honest here you know no I, I don't think i don't think it'll it'll ruin the, the game man even if they make a mistake i think they'll be fine do you think the pity will carry over to the yin lin banner from the Gion one uh it should i would i would expect it to i would expect them to share pity i do believe when Gion was leaving the pity was supposed to roll over to to yin lin anyway it's literally written in the game that pity carries over there you go they move the date that's why i'm concerned they dropping the ball a lot i don't think they've dropped the ball yet to be honest with you i think every issue that's been brought up has been uh has been addressed and or fixed i don't think they've been they haven't really dropped the ball at all the game released with some issues and they're fixing them i think that's a pretty normal thing on a new game release if you look at most games that when they initially release they have issues it isn't like a, a weathering waves is dropping the ball thing you know just hope it isn't bug because if it was supposed to be and it doesn't carry over rip again i don't think it'll i don't think it will be as big of an issue because i'm telling you they're gonna fix it if they fuck it up if you look at the japanese side of the internet you wouldn't say that i wouldn't say what that they haven't been dropping the ball what were you talking about because of the email thing i mean that was yeah the, the email thing was crazy or because of the uh the mistranslated weapon they, again they fixed it and they're getting compensation for it i feel like people are making a bigger deal out of it than it needs to be like just all around the board especially with the end game stuff i can understand the email thing people getting upset about but the stuff that's happening in game right now most people are blown out of proportion especially with the speed and efficiency that they are addressing it and fixing it i can see if, if let's say for example the shit with the loot mapper you can use your loot mapper it's broken okay what's going on the devs didn't say for a month and the loot mapper is still not fixed that's an issue right but if they if they let us know like hey we see that this loot mapper thing is an issue we're working on it it should be fixed by this date okay like i know it's a it's getting worked on like it's not a, it's not a problem anymore like it's still annoying for a little bit but once it's fixed like we're good bro and i know they're working on it i know they're not ignoring us as a as a, as a uh customer like realistically I, I think that the end game issues have been blown out of proportion for this game I, I don't think that any of them have been as serious as people have made out to be how many mistakes until the community is fed of it they can make bro, i'm telling you they can make as many mistakes as they want the game is still better than most of the most of the other gacha games out there it's still better than like 90 percent of them so people will still play it and they'll get compensated and they'll be they have been doing great with that brother with keeping players happy even with issues i don't think anybody's gonna get fed up with it. it's still new it's the the game has been out for a week there's gonna be issues probably for the first three four months we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing these issues for a while something is gonna pop up here something's gonna pop up here down the road three years from now something might pop up that we didn't know this is a problem that's just how coding works like it breaks sometimes it breaks sometimes like i think they're i think they're doing a good job at, at fixing it and, and i know you're not saying the game is bad i, I get where, what your point is where you're coming from as far as just saying like you know they they had a lot of issues on release and i can agree that there were a lot of issues on release but i think that those issues have been blown out of proportion and the 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 vocal majority isn't even people that enjoy weathering waves people, the vocal majority is the people that want to see the game fail everybody that's enjoying the game is completely happy with what's been going on bro everybody that's actually enjoying weathering waves loves everything that kuro games is doing right now the vocal the vocal majority are the people that don't want the game to succeed i'm not going to say where they're coming from but like we could probably say we we probably know who they are i'm not gonna say it but we probably know who they are right they don't want weathering waves to do well any little mistake they make 
gets blown up to the nth degree because people want it to fail. And there's so many of them that the people that are that are happy with what's being done about it are get get silenced, man. Exactly, bro. Exactly. That's what you think, but not a lot of us are affected by by the issues. Let's face it; these gotchas want to capture the Chinese and Japanese market, and that's true. And that's why they're doing everything that they can for the Chinese and Japanese market when they make those mistakes. The same way they do it for us when they make mistakes here, and the same way I'm sure they do it anywhere else. They're they're, they're doing what they can to fix it when they make is when they make a mistake. And again, I'm sure it's the same way in Japan when they fix those issues for folks out in Japan. I'm sure the Japanese people are excited about it that enjoy the game. I, I feel I I feel like genuinely we'll see where it's at. You know, we'll see where it's at in a couple of a couple of months. Obviously, just like any other game, the release booming right numbers up uh money up when the yinlin banner comes out money up because everybody's waiting for the cute female character to summon for right because everybody's saving for yinlin am i getting her i'll probably get her once because i just uh i did 30 pools and got varina again i did my 30 free pools i had and uh so i'm guaranteed to get yinlin so i probably will get her eventually the reasons yeah that's what i was saying so you know like the first week or two the game's popping, game's popping, game's popping, game's popping. And then we'll see uh, we'll see the drop off, we'll see the decline. And that's when we'll see again the rise of, see, we told you the game sucks, see, we told you this. But it'll, it'll get like a cool little balance and it'll definitely still make a, a good amount of money. The issue that Curl Games has right now is the marketing, bro. They don't, they're not really that great at marketing. Um, they have a lot of work they can do in that department. But hopefully if they can, if they can uh, cook that up, because that's what happened with PGR too. They did not market PGR very well. PGR was a great game. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Weathering Waves will be fine, man. It'll, it'll level off with the people that are enjoying the game. It'll still make a good amount of money. When new banners come out, people will come back to play. When new story comes out, people will come back to play. I think the biggest thing is, is like the people that tried Genshin, that came to play Weathering Waves and are enjoying Weathering Waves right now, when they go back to Genshin, and they feel that combat and they feel that movement during exploration they're gonna be like damn this is this is this is what i play now bro <laughs> can y'all imagine bro <laughs> play whatever game you enjoy right i'm not gonna sit here and, and bash genshin i'm not gonna sit here and bash tower fantasy i'm not gonna sit here and and, and like glaze and weathering waves um they all have their they all have things about them that are great they all have things about them that you know i could see why somebody would want to play them but at the end of the day you know you just gotta you gotta enjoy what you enjoy bro you gotta enjoy what you enjoy don't try to bring down somebody else's happiness because it doesn't affect yours at all all these games are gonna be here genshin's not going nowhere tof's not going nowhere weathering waves isn't going anywhere you know none of these games are leaving so it's your favorite game, bro. Continue to enjoy your favorite game. And, and that's it, bro. There's no reason to talk down on any other ones. There's literally zero reason. Then boom, you hear EOS. I think only one of them three would even get close to having an EOS, bro. Only one of them three would even get close to having an EOS. Tetris S, all of them? Hell yeah, man. I might go download that to play in bed when I go to sleep in a bit. I might go download Tetris right now, man.